I just got an exciting phone call. Hello? Hey, is this 10 hundred? Yeah, what's up? This is Andy Ron James from Amazon Games. Listen, bro, we made a video game. And my noggin came a knocking and told me, what if we reached out to 10 hundred and had him custom paint a PC case based on our game? Now listen, are you in? Or are you in, brother? <laughs> oh, sweet, dude, I'll send a PC over right now. Ciao. So that's right, Amazon Games is sponsoring this video and they asked me to make a super crazy custom PC case to commemorate their new game, Lost Ark. So in this game, they have all these awesome characters that are organized into classes. And the class that they want me to do is martial artist. So I looked through all these super awesome, mega powerful champion heroes that are in this martial artist class. And the one that my eye was immediately drawn to was... Soul Fist. Soul Fist is a super badass lady. She's got like magical superpowers. She's super strong. And she is gonna be the inspiration for my custom PC case. But I got something else cool to show you. Check this out. Yes, very exciting. I've got a bunch of the computer components already here. Motherboard, gaming keyboard, freaking 3080 graphics card, mouse, headphones, power supply, water cooler, liquid cooler. I'm still waiting on the PC case, but it should be here very soon. And in the meantime, maybe I'll start sketching out what I want to do on this thing. It's the legend of the soul fist. Custom PC case, I think it's time to go sketch. Let me draw some eyes and nose quick Cross hatching with the shadow under those lips Shout out to Amazon, they know this Make a game, I'll paint a PC to promote it Martial arts, magic spells, and big explosions God, Gotta watch out for the thorns, I'm pretty roses Procreate, procreate, procreate I can't compose you And, and, and now I'm blocking, keep you frozen Inspiration can be golden Now I think my sketch is done Let's keep it rolling Okay, I got my rough sketch done here so I know what the heck I'm gonna do. I did my kind of 10 hundredified version of Soul Fist. She's got some super sweet battle armor. I kind of used this image as my reference photo and just kind of went from there. Now, Soul Fist has some crazy moves. In the background behind her, there's this kind of circular thing. That's like her crippling barrier move that seems to just like put a circle of energy and just like destroy enemies. She has this like Tempest Blast thing, which is like super crazy energy exploding from her hands <laughs> um, so I kind of have that going on here and then she's got this like crazy black hole energy ball called world annihilation so I have that going in here so I've got a cool version of soul fist a few of her moves and then I'll just vibe it out from there now I sent this sketch in to Amazon games and they approved it they loved it which is awesome no revisions you always love it when a big client just says cool we like it and while I was waiting for that they sent me this guy yeah. So now I think I have what I need to get started on this project. So I think I'm probably gonna spray paint this bad boy as like a background. So I need to tape this thing off and hit it with the spray paint. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's make a cool custom PC case. Here we go. Okay, well that was like an hour of taping on this thing, but I think it's finally ready for some spray paint. My first step was to spray paint the case white so it would have a nice bright background for my colors to lay on top of. Then I reached for some cans of blue and teal to just have a stylish background of like a nice gradient on this PC case. Okay, I have a nice little spray paint gradient going here on this old PC. And uh, for those of you who've watched my channel many a times, you probably know what my next step is. That's right, matte medium. We're gonna seal in this spray paint, make it to be a more workable, better surface to put acrylic paints on. So without further ado, matte medium. On that medium, we're gonna lay it down. We're prepping the surface. I just use spray paint but matte medium. It's giving me courage I'm mad medium, I think I love you Can this be true? Can this be true? If you walked away, mad medium I don't know what I would do I 
Okay, so now it's time to actually get my art onto the PC. And this is where things get a little bit complex because what I'm thinking is, I want this case to have some 3D elements to it. So I think I'm gonna achieve that by doing like wood cutouts and having them kind of pop out from the case a little bit. So these kind of shapes right here will be wood cutouts that are kind of elevated off a little bit. And then this is where it gets tricky. Her whole head, this hair right here, and then connecting to this big shoulder pad all the way up to this spiky hair up top will be another piece that's gonna sit above these and then maybe the arm and hand should be elevated too. Jeez, this is getting a little bit complex. So it'll have this like multi-layered depth to it and I think it'll be really cool but it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to try and kind of like actually make this thing work. And then on the front here I have this like world annihilation circle thing. So we went to Michael's and got some random like wood cut out circles because I don't think I could make a perfect circle if I'm just hand jigsawing it. So this will kind of stick out. Yeah, come on, let's move this PC case a little bit. So <laughs> maybe that will like float out from the front of the PC a little bit. Hopefully if the vision in my mind matches the final PC case, it'll be super cool. But uh, I think the only way to actually do it is just to do it. So let's get started. I started out by printing out my concept art spread across 12 sheets of paper. I cut them up and taped them together. While I was working on that, my boy Red was outside sanding and prepping the wood panel. Next, I laid down transfer paper and started transferring my sketch. But then I remembered I forgot to gesso the wood first. So I laid down some gesso in specific areas and once that was dry, I went back to transferring my sketch for the four pieces that I was going to cut out from the wood. Next, I laid down a light wash of acrylic paint to tone my pieces. I could have also done this after I cut my pieces, but I figured it would be easier to do it now. It was finally time to grab my trusty jigsaw and start cutting. I tried laying down some packing tape over the cuts to keep them a little more clean, and to my surprise, it kind of worked. But after a couple jigsaw battery recharges, I was able to get my pieces cut out. I grabbed the sandpaper and the Dremel to try and clean up some of the edges. I went ahead and dropped a little spray paint on the back sides of them because from certain angles you're actually going to be able to see the back of these pieces. Now I need to lay out the pieces on the case where they're going to be and sketch in the body using my General's White Charcoal Pencil. This pencil is super nice for sketching because I can just wash it away with a damp rag if I mess up. This PC case is taking a ton of prep work, but I hope in the end it's all gonna pay off. Woo, hot diggity donuts. That was a lot of prep work to just get to the point where I can start slapping some paint around. But it's always a good day at the studio when you're covered in a thin coat of sawdust. You know you're putting in good work. I got my cutouts going here, and I got my sketch going over there, and the studio is Kind of a disaster, but we're making things. This is either gonna look super sick or really weird or in a perfect world, hopefully both at once. But I think it's time for me to finally start painting. Let's watch this thing come to life. All right, finally it's time to start painting. There was so much prep work on this with the wood cutting and the sanding and all that jazz that I was really excited to just grab my golden fluid acrylics, throw on some audiobooks, and paint this thing. It's funny how I have very little practice with realistic skin tones. So many of my characters have colorful skin tones. Real skin's always a challenge. Oh, by the way, we're giving away this custom PC. That's right, you can win this thing. Check out the link down in the description to find out more info on how to win this thing. Good luck, I hope you win it. You. Let's get back to it. One tricky part was the head and the arm and the body were all separate pieces. Figuring out my shadows and doing color matching was definitely a challenge. Hmm, 
I think this looks nice. All right, I've got a good chunk of the painting done. It's starting to look really cool. I got these little wood blocks cut out to kind of raise stuff up off of here. So I still have some things to do. I got to work on my world annihilation thing. Get all this stuff glued together, varnish it. And then I think my custom Soul Fist, Lost Ark, freaking crazy gaming PC will be done. So cue up the fancy montage that'll make that seem a lot easy. Whoa. <laughs> that will make that seem a lot easier than it actually is. One, two, three, go. I loaded up everything and drug it over to my garage so that I could spray paint and spray varnish and wood glue and do all the dirty work I don't want to do in my YouTube studio. I'm using these simple blocks to give the wood cutouts a little bit of distance from the computer. I'm using golden spray varnish to finish the pieces. I still needed to finish painting the Tempest Blast that wraps around the front of the computer before I could varnish the PC. The very last thing I needed to paint was this World Annihilation Circle, and all it really involved was like crazy pink energy swirling around this mystic orb. <laughs> All right, it's time to attach the pieces to the actual case. And initially I was thinking of using some like super crazy epoxy to glue these things to the case, but then I had a genius idea. Freaking Velcro, baby. Because if somebody needs to work on this computer or when I go to ship it, I'll just be able to Velcro these things off of here. So I hope this works. Put these together, peel off one side, slap that guy on there. All right, this is the moment of truth. I gotta line this up good before I press Press it down. Oh, I pressed it down. <laughs> I think that will be good. Slowly lower it down. I think that's good. Press it. I hope this holds. Okay. Oh, dude, do I have enough of these Velcro thingies? Hello? Hey, what's up, Nikki? I'm almost back. What's up? Oh, snap. I was going to ask you to grab me some 3M command strips, the Velcro kind. Uh, I can go back. Okay, sweet. Okay, more command strips are on the way. Now for my hand. Velcro, baby. That's how we do. Velcro, baby, is better than glue. Oh my gosh, this is sick. This is gonna be sick. Oh, the moment of truth. Will it hold? Wow. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it turned out how I was envisioning it in my head. I hope this holds long term. I think it will. These pieces of wood are pretty light. Um, now I just got to take the tape off of the computer, put all the components in, and this custom Soul Fist Lost Ark freaking Amazon Games PC will be done. All right, I feel accomplished. Let's get this thing done. So I've only built one PC in my entire life and I had to have a lot of help while I was doing it. So we have brought in the professionals. Since this custom PC is up for you guys to win, we figured we'd do a good job actually building it. Thank you very much. Done. The PC is built and I am very excited to show you guys the final sexy shots. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for this one. I made this awesome Soul Fist custom PC case, case mod craziness. I'm super hyped on how this thing turned out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this one. Thank you so much to Amazon Games for having me do this PC. It was super duper fun. You guys, make sure to check out the link in the description to find out more about this sweet game, Lost Ark, and to find out how you can win this thing. Very exciting. This is a freaking rig outside of the art. Like, this is a powerful little gaming PC. So, uh, kill two birds with one stone. 
Zone. Get some awesome art. Get a dope PC gaming rig. And uh, yeah, thank you so much to my patrons. If you guys feel like it, you can check out my website, 1000art.com. I got a bunch of cool t-shirts and hoodies and prints and stickers and all kinds of sweet 1000 art merchandise over there. I'm 1000. It's been real. I'm pretty proud of this thing. I like the way it turned out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.